Hey guys, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I am going to be playing with my James Charles palette that I got for Christmas and haven't surprisingly done a video on it yet. So I'm going to be using this game. And I recently have wanted to play with a lot more color. Um, if you can't tell on camera, my hair is like a blackish blue. In some lights, you can really tell it's blue, but it's not picking it up. I just smacked my palette off of my desk. So, hopefully it is not damaged. No. It looks still very pretty. I always have a tendency of being a klutz. So I'm going to do a monochromatic look. And since I said that I was going to play with color, and since I'm wearing a blue shirt, I figured I want to play with the blues in this palette. Because as you can tell, they are very pretty. And then I have a Jeffree Star lipstick that is blue. So I want to do a blue monochromatic look. I haven't seen a lot of people do that in a while so i want to do it so this intro is already super long so i'm just gonna get started so i'm gonna start with primer the base is normally the same if you've watched my other videos so i use the elf poreless face primer just gonna Run that in. And then for foundation, use the Morphe brush. Um, in my last video. I linked all of the brushes I used down below, so you can check those out, and I also linked the brush set, just in case, so I was about to put nothing on my face. So I used the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation, aim in the shade 200, do you want to get up? loves to be in my room and follows me everywhere so yeah um just going to apply a pump or two on this brush I'm just gonna kind of move my hair back a little more like two and then just tap the rest I like how this brush absorbs the product because it just kind of just sinks in to the brush so you don't have to use so much product and I just love how this brush like applies the foundation like how it blends it in I love these types of brushes these like kabuki brushes or could I think they're kabuki brushes. These like flat topped brushes. I, it's similar to my Wet n Wild one. But I feel like this Murphy one is obviously a lot better. Because I feel like the other one like the product just like didn't melt into my face. Like with the brush like applying it. It just kind of like didn't blend well. Because this one's more fluffy. And the other one really wasn't as fluffy, so I feel like that kind of helped. And then does it blend down my neck? And then I'm gonna use this as well for my concealer. I'm gonna use 
the Urban Decay All Nighter Concealer. I'm in the shade Fair. So I'm just going to put this in triangle shapes under my eyes, reach my forehead, down my nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and then have a little pimple over here. And then I'd normally put it anywhere else I had a pimple. That seems to be the only place I have one at this point. And then I'm just going to take that same brush and just blend in the concealer. The concealer is supposed to like cover perfections, just brighten up your face. Literally like one swoop and it's blended. I, I really recommend Morphe brushes. They're seriously like the best brushes I've ever tried. So now I'm just going to take a fluffy kind of tapered brush and set my face, which is everywhere I concealed. Powder under my eyes, bridge of my nose, forehead, chin, and cupid's bow, and a little extra where I had a pimple that I wanted to cover. And then I'm just gonna brush some all over my face. Next up is bronzer, so I'm just going to take this giant fluffy brush from Morphe and I'm going to be using a Morphe highlight, this isn't a highlight, a bronzer, the shade Debutante. Debutante? Yeah, that's how it's pronounced, I think. And then I'm going to do the three glasses. So I am going to do the 3E. E. And then just a little on the nose. And then I'm doing a little more on the forehead and the temples. I just love bronzing with a giant fluffy brush because I feel like it's just like makes it more sun kissed and natural. And I'm gonna go to the jawline once more. So, and now for blush, I'm going to use. Nope, not that one. This angled blush brush from Morphe. I don't know why I keep telling you. All the brushes I'm using are from Morphe, so I don't have to keep repeating myself. And this is the ColourPop X Bretman Rock Super Shock Cheek Blush in the shade Stop It. It's a really pretty kind of corally blush. And then I'm just going to smile and blend outwards. It's a really pretty blush, but it can be a disaster if you go in heavy handed. So, it just gives you a really pretty color. And I'm a blush girl, so I love a good blush. I'm just gonna put some on the top of my nose. And then I put my bronzer, just to kind of make me look more sun-kissed and tie the whole face together. So I'm just gonna cover that up. And then I'm going 
take a tapered highlighter brush and dip into the Morphe highlighter, the shade Spark. I wish Morphe would sponsor me. I love them so much. I love the Morphe. She, Linda Morphe is the creator of Morphe. I swear by all their products. Like they honestly have like the best stuff in the world. So I'm just putting this highlighter everywhere. The summer naturally in my face. I kind of like to go a little over the top, but but that's just me. That's just me. So the face is done. Now on to the eyes which I'm excited for. So, whoa. Ow, I hit myself. I'm going to dip into the Morphe X James Charles. And um, I have the little sheet with all the names on them. So I'm going to try and tell you the names. But I, that's kind of, tedious in my opinion um they have room on the bottom of the shadows so I really would have liked them to use up that space and put the names because they do have the room to I guess they didn't want to or James didn't want to but they do have the room underneath them to put the names I just feel like this plastic piece like what if I lose it and then I can't tell you the shades with the Jaclyn palette, they put the shades on the back, which I think they could have incorporated. Like, I know this palette's bigger, but with the Jaclyn Hill palette, they put the shades on the back. I really wish they would have done that to this palette. So it's better for, like, people who are, like, YouTubers who want to review the palette so they can tell, like, their subscribers what shade they're using. So at some point, I might just say, um, with the blue shade... The green shade. I'm not using greens, but you know. So, that is back. I'm going to start off with the transition shade. Ooh, I have to put my primer on. So, I'm using the MAC Paint Pot in the shade Painterly. And I'm going to take a flat top brush and just prime my eyes Ow. I broke to myself with the metal part of the brush. So now that I primed my eye, I can't put this cap back on. There we go. Now I'm going to take a a fluffy brush. Is this the one I used for highlighter? This is the one I used for highlighter. Here we go. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush. Yeah. going to first off set my 
primer with the shade Canvas. It's like a really light kind of cream color. And I'm just going to put it on top. You can't obviously see this color because it's a good, it's basically a skin tone, so it's not gonna show up on camera. Well, and then um, since I'm doing blue, I have a brush that I've already stained with other blue products. So I'm going to dip into the shade Brother? Yes. This light blue shade, Brother, it's like a periwinkle shade. So I'm just going to dip in to there and apply that in my crease. This is really pretty. It's a really light shade as well, but um, it's a really light kind of purpley blue shade, but it is definite, I would assume it would definitely be buildable, but excuse me, I'm using it as a transition shade. Um, I want it to be lighter. And I believe this color is one of the pressed pigments. Oh, frick. I just stabbed the end of my brush into another shade, which is called Not Daddy Cape Cod. So, hold on. That's the shade I accidentally dipped my finger into. I dipped the end of the brush. See? I can never have nice things, so I'm just going to wipe it on vanity. So, unfortunately, Cape Cod went through it and got the end of a brush in it. But it looks fine. No one can ever tell. So I'm just dipping back into Brother. And then that's, I believe, one of the press pigment shades James talked about, talked about in his video about the palette. So I think that's the shade that needs to be worked with the most for maximum payoff. But I really like the lightness of it. I like that it's not too intense, but... I, you can always build it up. See, it's totally buildable. So, yeah. Definitely. Def Fuck, I'm sorry. Definitely a pretty shade. And the shade next to it I will be using is called Playground. this shade right here is playground that is the next actually i think i'm gonna go in with this shade right under playground called cola it's like a darker version of Cola is like a darker version of Brother. So, I'm going to go into that and just kind of deepen it up a little bit, still using the same brush.
so yes that is really pretty so I used brother and cola and now I will dip into that blue shade right here called playground still using the same brush because I don't want to stain another brush so I'm just dipping into playground and I am going to put this on top of both of those shades I'm just kind of kind of buff it in. So I'm just using windshield wiper motion. I went for a really blown out look. So it's super blown out, super blue, which is what I wanted. So now that we have the three crease shades, I am going to take that same brush we used before uh packer brush and i'm gonna dip back into that mac paint pot sorry my chair's like quaking over here so i have some on my finger just to kind of clean palette palette pot and Gonna cut my crease. And then I'm gonna dip back into a little more of that pink pot. And my hair's not cooperating. And just cut the other crease. Just following my natural crease line and then packing on that primer. And now I'm going to use this blue shade right here called hello i remember that one because i thought it was super pretty and i'm like hello like stunning uh so i'm just gonna take my finger just dip into the shade ah oh, to die for look how pretty that is i'm gonna say pigmented but yeah look how pretty that is i don't think the camera's doing justice on how like reflective it is yeah there it is so stunning so pretty so i'm just going to do you see that do do you see that hello so i'm just putting this on my lid i feel like this blue look is really like giving me all the feels Definitely going to pick up some more of that shade. I can open the freaking palette. So dipping back into hello. Honestly, like maybe the best blue shadow I've ever worshipped, ever seen.
the shade needs like I'm sorry but the, it's so creamy and like like look like like hello slaying my entire existence so I think I'm just going I'm just going to take some of the, like the shadow left out mm. <laughs> here I'll use this kind of like smaller kind of flatter brush and I'm going to dip into um, Brother and then take a little bit of cola and then a teensy bit of playground and kind of buff that on the lower lash. Like, hello. And then... And then I'm going to take that blue fluffy brush and actually not the blue. I'm gonna take the brush I originally used and dip into that canvas shade I used as a transition, well not a transition, I used it to set my, uh, what's it called, base, my primer, and just blend in that blue. And just make sure they are connected so it looks cohesive. And then I am going to go back into the James Charles palette, take the shade Ring Light, this big ass highlighter shade right here that's in the center row. Look how pretty that is. Literally like reflects off. Okay. And then I'm going to put that in the inner corner. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off. I just decided to pick up the color with that finger. Ah, oh, sorry, but like, look at that. <laughs> look, I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm like in awe. I'm sister shocked. Sister shook. Sister stunning is what this shade is. Like, hello? Sister stunning.
I'm gonna add a little more ring light to this inner corner. So pretty. So the eyes aren't quite done. Just gonna add a little bit of the Benefit Bad Gal Bing Mascara. I just dropped the mascara. Momento por favor. So now I will add a lip. Um, I want to use a primer. So, hello. I need to sharpen her. So, I'm going to use this Laritzi Cosmetics kind of plummy color, and I'm just going to. Yeah, that's not going to work. But I'm just using a lip liner. So I don't really care if it's that messy. It's just a lip liner. And then I'm going to go in with the shade You're Still on the Property from Jeffree Star Holiday Collection. Because this is my blush because I said this was a monochromatic look so blue eyes and blue lip Okay, now I will add setting spray. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, I'm like all about this lip color on me. All right, then. So I'm just gonna spritz this Maybelline Master Fix setting spray. And the fluffy brush, and just tap in the settings. 
excuse me, tap in Southern Spray. And that setting spray, I want to add a little bit more highlighter. So that's it for this blue monochromatic look. I love the sparkles on the lips. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You know the drill. Always remember, be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be soon on the inside.